Hi, this is Mike turning on the knot head tool. Tonight we're going to run through the conventional turn of the blood knot. It's a great knot. We're going to use motto tonight, but it's a multi-line tying knot, so that means you can tie different lines to each other, and it really works out great. Uh, I'm going to use 14-pound test mono and on both sides. We're going to use high-vis so it's easier to see. And this is an instructional, so I'm going to kind of take my time. It's not a hard knot. It's just some uh, places you need to see what's going on. So let's get started with the blood knot. Okay, I'm gonna, this is an inline knot. I'm going to bring it from the right. This may be your main line of your tag. It can work from either direction. And I'm going to bring this, and I'm going to bring it about six inches past the end from here. I'm going to take this. I'm just going to lay that right in there just like that, okay? And from the other side, this could be your leader line. I'm gonna bring this in and I'm gonna leave about six inches on the right hand side. This line, I'm gonna put right down in the clamp just like this. From there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my retainer down, okay? And that's gonna be down snug. It doesn't have to be real, real tight. Then I'm gonna bring this over here. I'm gonna use my middle finger and I'm gonna, I need to come under the back side with this because I'm gonna be turning towards me. This turns two different ways, okay? And I use these fingers to guide. It makes it a little easier. So you can just bring them back in and capture them each time. And I'm going to put six turns on this one, okay? An important thing is we're coming under this way and we're creating a loop around that line, a half a loop. Well, then we just drop back here and we're going to come in from what we call the back side and we're going to pull that in. And if you look right underneath my hand here, we're going to get a loop about like that. Okay, now when I turn this on the tool, what happens is my main line always ends up with a loop in it. So I just pull up a little on this, I pull my main line tight, I pull this one out, and now I'm ready to turn the other side. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I have enough down my clamp, and I'm just going to come just like this. And I'm going to use this finger to capture it. Once you get this down, it's really pretty easy. I turn there's hundreds of knots and it's hard for me to remember which way to turn what and I get kind of off sometimes. <laughs> and it's a good thing to leave your tag about six inches. If you have something that's different size, uh, you know, you're tying together, then it's important to maybe leave a little extra. And I'm just gonna take off here and we can see where this is coming in. I didn't let it flip out. And you can pull back a little on this left-hand side one. You can open that hole. Now, as you can see, one's coming out one direction, the other's coming out the other direction. And I pull these loops up to similar for a reason. Because when you're using clear line, these will just bounce back over in the area where they come from. For this situation, we're using green line, and the green line comes back here, and orange line on this side. But if you're using clear line, it'd be a little hard to tell that. So if you turn this correctly, they're going to come right back where you need them. Okay, so then I just take that off. I hold right in the middle, just like this. Okay, and this is what we got right now. Right here. If you can see, we got our loops, and they're just like this. I'm going to lubricate them. Lubricate them pretty good. Hold the two right and the two left, and pull them opposite. And you pull them snug tight. Okay, so that's what you're going to have at that point. I then lubricate it again. I like to lubricate this knot real well. And this is what you have. And then you take just the main lines. You drop your tags and you pull this just like this to completion. And you can see how them jet out straight across from one another. Got a little extra line so they hang down, but that is a great knot right there. You see how they jet out? If you have them so they come out of different places, uh, kind of like a V shape instead of straight out, uh, your knot's probably not turned properly. But this is a great inline knot. I use it for a lot of things. I tie on my backing line. I use it when I'm using mono and tying lines together. I use it for mono to fluorocarbon and uh, even braid. So this is, uh, this is a great knot, and you ought to give it a try, the blood knot. Try it on the knothead tool. See us at thenothead.com. Thank you.